Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is gonna be a new mod map tour of the Forgotten Lands. This is by Carl TG. It's 137.61 megabytes to download for all platforms. I'm gonna start off by reading the description, then we'll go ahead and get into it. It says, welcome to the Forgotten Lands. This map is a fictional map of an area that is completely abandoned, but you can start a new civilization. The map offers a train station where you can sell all in-game products and platinum products. Eight forest areas to cut trees. Birch trees are by Oscar8599 and Pixel Farms. Old red rusty train that runs straight throughout the map. Uh, AI splines for gravel roads. Medium sized sheep farm. Farmhouse with interior. 3D textures on buildings. Precision farming ready vehicle shop. And mobile bushes. I hope you have a great time in the wild. It does have two required mods. One is the old grain mills by Bartzel V3. And the other one is the silo lizard by Peasel. So here we are. Um, I'm going to just fast forward a little bit of time. We're going to get us up into about a noon ish. Yeah, right about there. It'll be fine. And then if we hop into the map here, this is the map. I'm assuming this is, yep, there's the railroad going across there. Everything we need is up there. There's some forest areas. We start off with chunk one here, which includes all this water area here, which is nice. And you can buy, looks like pretty much anything throughout the map. How much is that? Okay, 15 grand or 1500, excuse me. What's on there? Old grain mill? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. We'll probably just do a flyover of this map. Um, just how basic it is. Um, not anything wrong with that. I like that sort of style of map anyways. That's kind of a build yourself. Uh, standard crop calendar. We go through here. No added products. Um, we have a lot of equipment that all needs dire repairs, which we'll take a look at in a second. Start with $100,000 in new farm mode. No starting loan. We do have a sheep pasture to start out. There are no contracts because there's no fields except for the one that we own. Um, no production chain starting out and no collectibles. Uh, I'm actually going to have to worry about any of that, I think. Let's print auto save off there. Uh, so yes, let's take a look in the store at what we start off with in new farmer mode. We start off with a Deutz Far 7250 TTVHD, a JCB Fast Track 4220, and a Massey Ferguson MF7S210. We also have a New Holland CH 770 Harvester with a grain header for that. We have ourselves a pickup truck. Then we have a crampy half pipe trailer. We also have a small cultivator, power harrow. We have a cedar here, a mower, header, windrower. Forge wagon. Uh, for animals, we have a water tank there, front loader attachment, and then front loader tools. We have a pallet fork and a universal bucket. We have a nice little low loader there, and we have a header trailer as well. So it's kind of some basic stuff. Um, so the want, or got some, I wonder if you can delete these actually. You can, well, kind of. That's the whole farmhouse, I think, but uh, maybe not. Maybe that's something different. I don't know how you get rid of that stuff though. It'd be nice if you can get rid of some of that. Hopefully you can get rid of most of it, but. Anyhow, farmhouse here. I like that back area there. I believe we can go inside all of this. I believe this goes. There's lights. Go inside. Yeah, nice detailed. Lights everywhere. This kitchen. We got the wardrobe and our sleeping area there. Nice art on the wall and everything like that. Yeah, nice little basic starter house. That's pretty good. I like that. Um, and then we have ourselves just, well, some nice water over here, which we do own to start. So we own all that. I don't know what we can do with it, but we own it. And then past that, yeah, um, just some sheds and stuff around here. Yeah. All of our equipment's nice, dirty, old, used, mangled. Maybe not mangled, but lights in here. There's lights. Gotta go up to the switch, probably. There we go. Yeah, nice sheds. I like the sheds. Silo over here, and uh, our sheep pasture. Yeah, pretty straightforward. We do have a power washer, so we can wash things off that we have that are dirty. We have well, we need to do that for most of our equipment, it looks like. But there we go. That's that. Let's go ahead and hop into flight mode. Take a look at this place from up above. So very straightforward. Um, this is actually a pretty large map. You can see the, the borders right there, so you can get all the way out to that if you'd like to. Um, you have some nice forest areas around. Road that goes up, so you can come out this way, head up over here, and then you can head up towards town that way. Yeah, a few roads dotted about. Get you different places if you need to. Again, plenty of trees to work with if you wanted to do that. Then up here in this area, we have ourselves the train. 
I actually kind of want to take a look at it's on its way out, but still. It looks fairly nice. It's a long train, too. I like that. And you have space on the other side of the railroad as well. Town area. We'll come back to this. We'll go walk around the town in a second. Um, and then, there, yep, that just kind of comes in. There's your vehicle shop. And this heads back out this way. And then again, we have a uh, forest area here. And down here, if you wanted to buy this little chunk of land, I'm assuming if you buy this, you probably get access to um, that production. Oh, you don't. So you have to buy the, the windmill separately, which I can't remember how much this is. Let me hop out of flight mode real quick. Um, let's get up here and purchase this. Okay, 23000 So you get out of this plot of land and the windmill for about 24500 or so. So pretty good deal. Um, let's go ahead and walk around the town for a bit. Let's... Uh, just hop up to the store. So again, we have uh, kind of over this way. Sorry, we have kind of our main road, main dirt road coming up into here, into town. Take a right here, and then we have the big open area for all of our equipment and stuff. We have a repair trigger here for us, and we have the actual shop trigger there. We have everything. Do we have a fuel point? There's no fuel point, which that is kind of interesting. It's not that I see. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing a fuel point. So you might have to place uh, place down a fuel a fuel trigger at your farm, so just be aware of that. Up over here, nice crossing there. How do we get into? Oh, the entrance is down there. That makes sense. Let me just cruise down there. As you're coming up, the store is actually the second way or the second uh, driveway. First driveway here is going to be for this kind of area right through here. So right hand side, right off the bat, as you get in here, actually I don't know what that is. The cell point of some kind. There's nothing marked. We have the storage and the train station. So there's a storage base cell point, and the train station should be that might be the train station actually. I'm not seeing what else it could be. Obviously, you can sell stuff. Excuse me, via the train, um, which we have. Am I silo for anywhere? I don't see a silo actually. You might just have to load it up uh, manually. That's the rent train point. So if we come over here, option to rent the train. But I'm assuming you can sell grain and stuff. Storage bay, train, deer lands. I'm assuming that's the edge. Yeah, deer lands. So you can sell some stuff off towards deer lands, but not everything, actually. There's no sell point for TMR. That's fine, though. That's not really needed. Yeah, OK, anyhow. Yeah, most of it looks like it's going to the storage bay, but you can ship some stuff away with the train. Um, some logs sitting over here. I believe this is our sawmill point. Is there actually a sawmill production? No, there's not. There's just... I'm assuming this is just all for this is the sale of logs right here. It seems there's not a lot of stuff marked. We do have an uh, animal dealer right there, but otherwise, yeah. Pretty straightforward. Pretty basic, simple map. I like it, though. be kind of fun to get on here. It's uh, very No Man's Land-esque. Uh, it'd be fun to get on here and just build your own farm and town or whatever else you wanted. But there you guys go. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching. I'll see you guys next time.